depends on what kind of song it is. Uh, so like. It, it just depends on the zone and what I'm talking about and what type of lines are being said. Every song has like different obstacles in it. So, um, for example, a song like Low Key. I could write a song like Low Key in one, in one day, maybe two. I don't like to write a full song in one day because I like to give, I, I like to let it breathe and sit on it and I don't want to rush it. <coughs> but a song like Low Key, I think I wrote it in maybe one or two days. And that's not two full days. It's just like I spend five hours writing it, take a break, and the next day come back to it. Hell's Carol, maybe that took maybe, I, I think, like two two or three days. I, I could do that even in a, in a day, to be honest. Because that, that one's easy because I didn't really say any, like, crazy punchlines. It's just more about, like, when I'm doing rap where I'm just saying shit, but it's not necessarily, like, any crazy metaphors or punchlines, then those are kind of easy. Um, a song like Picasso, I feel like because it's more about the how the flow is and certain punchlines and how I'm delivering things and switching things up, I gotta make sure it it it, it like meets a certain level of lyricism with on on a wide scale of like having the the bars, having the the right flow, the way I ride the beat, having humor, having all these things. So some so that song. I probably took like two weeks to write it, but I didn't really, it's not, when I say two weeks, it's because I'll write some and I'll keep going back changing shit because I don't want to write too fast. There's no need for me to write fast. And I wrote that song in September and I just put it out now, but I've, I have been changing a lot of it just all the way up until like three weeks ago. Um, every song's different though. Uh, yeah, so... It varies, depending on the subject matter. Okay. <clears throat> Let's see. Sorry, hold on. Give me a second. I'm trying to find a good question. <coughs> Damn it. Advice on how to get inspired. Uh, depends on where you're at in life. I, I think every every man has his own path of motivation and inspiration that he has to find and it's different for everybody it depends on what you're doing it for who you're doing it for and all those things like me starting out rapping and me you know finding the energy to stay consistent in my earlier days of building my buzz and putting out videos and doing everything I my what what motivated me was um I didn't want to become an old man one day and look back and go, damn, all that shit that I had been doing since I was 14, all that rap that I, that I wrote, all those songs I made, meant nothing. Meant absolutely nothing. I wrote thousands of songs and I got, and eventually, I didn't want to be like, damn, I wrote a thousand songs and then I got to the point where my career just wasn't working out, so I just had to stop. And I had to go back into the matrix and and just go work at where wherever the fuck. I didn't want to be that guy. Like I that that was a nightmare for me to become an old man going, damn, I never did it. I never fucking accomplished it. I never did it. I failed. And for me to also look at other rappers like 50 Cent, Eminem, all these dudes who came from nothing who did it. I would look at them and be like, yo, they're human beings just like I am. They found their way. And regardless, like I know sometimes we all like to look at other successful people and go, oh, well, they had it easier than me. Uh, in reality, they don't. Like I said, it all goes off of your energy of who you are as a person and that energy that you portray to the world. And you get that back. So I was like, I cannot just fucking be nothing. And that in, that in, 
the the fear of me being nothing as an old man one day and never and me looking back knowing I never did it, knowing that I never did a concert with knowing that I never put out a song that you know was in the just even mentioned in any conversation, knowing that I never fucking got a million views on YouTube before. I never built a real fan base. I never had fans just feel so passionate about my music where they're saying my music changed their life. That would have destroyed me. So that 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 motivated me as well. On top of that, my mom, like I, I told my mom that I was going to pay rent. I, I, I skipped out on so much rent. And my mom was like, God damn it, you 23 years old, you ain't got no money for the rent. Where the hell you, you I, when, when you go get this record deal, you keep talking about like, I had to. I had been like, man, I've been telling my mom since I was 19, like, mom, don't worry, don't worry, don't worry, mom, don't worry. I'm about to, I'm about to, I'm about to blow. I promise, mom, I just made this song, Pants in the Kitchen. I'm just about to blow. Mom, I just made this song called Lucifer Effects. About to blow, mom, I just, I just made this label called Funk Volume with my friend Swizz. Remember Swizz? Yeah, he, that's why he's over all the time, mom. Trust me, mom, like, I, I had to keep on telling her this because she was getting mad to the point where it was like, yo, yo, you getting pretty old, Marcus, and you ain't doing, like, where's this rap you talking about? Where? And, and like, I, I, like, I imagine me being, like, 33 right now, and my mom, and I'm like, oh, my mom would have killed me. My mom would have killed me if I had been fucking lying to her since age 19 to fucking 33 saying, I'm going to get the rent, mama, probably. And I've just been fucking stalling. Like, no, I couldn't, I couldn't do that to my mom. I could not. So, um, yeah, I, couldn't, I could not be a failure. I just, I just can't. And, um, and you know what? A line also stuck with me. Success is my only motherfucking option. Failure's not. Like, that always stuck with me. I was like, oh, shit, that's a... I don't have to have like and, and and also Will Smith as well. I've been a fan of Will Smith my whole fucking life, but he I remember him saying something in an interview long time ago about um there's no time to have a plan B because plan B is only going to interfere with your plan A. And and I and I always looked at life that way ever since I heard him say that cuz I was like, "Damn, like it's like when you when you know what you want and you just go for it." Like, like there are some people in life who just get what the fuck they want. They just get it. Like, and I remember hearing, seeing an interview about 50 Cent where he was, someone asked him, like, did you know you were going to be famous, a famous rapper one day? And he was like, yeah, I knew. And I was like, how did he know? But he just knew because he knew he wasn't going to stop until he did. He knew he was going to put that work in. And same with me. Like, since I was a little kid... I've I've always fucking like I've always known that like I'm gonna like people are gonna know who the fuck I am. I don't like they're going to know who Hobson is. Period. No if ands or buts about it. Like I'm not like these other little high school rappers back when I was in high school who were just rapping to just rap. Like I just truly felt that I was like I was going to be something. And but yeah, those are I, I I I fucking talk too much. God damn it! I guess I chose the right profession. Um, 